if you've ever had an old person in your home of that age, one thing you would notice is whatever their characteristics were, whatever their significant characteristics of their behavior and normal personal personality characteristics were, you will see somewhere between eighty... eighty-three to eighty-five, these characteristics will change dramatically. Suppose uh, somebody was very grumpy, you will see after eighty-four, eighty-five years of age, suddenly he's a very joyful and nice person or whatever. Some changes, significant changes in their character will happen because the karmic bondage that is holding the person to a certain pattern of behavior will loosen up. This is the reason why we say, if a person dies after eighty-four years of age, after having witnessed, maybe the fool never had the joy of looking at a full moon, but his body has witnessed, maybe his eyes have not, but his physical form has witnessed one thousand and eight moons means, his karmic structure will become loose. Once it's become loose, he cannot find another body immediately. No womb will accept him. That means he'll hang around and we can very easily settle him, just like that. He need not go through another process. Even if he lived an absolutely ignorant life, this is the significance of long life. People always blessed, may you have a long life, not necessarily because you're having fun. Even if it's miserable, have a long life so that we will be rid of you for good. Because once your karmic structure loosens, finding another womb becomes difficult, not impossible, but difficult. So that is a time there will be somebody who will be blasting out these things somewhere, wherever. Even if they don't know any spiritual dimension in their life. So, if you are no good for anything, at least live long enough. Don't do it around me <laughs> If you're miserable, do your misery somewhere and come at eighty-four. We would like to live with joyous people.